are you suggesting that the court may have taken its decision, but as to whether parliament will oblige is another thing? Exactly. Because my brother, the same Supreme Court, in fact, this Supreme Court, I can mention about five, four, I can mention four, five, six judges sitting at the Supreme Court today. Every year when we are celebrating Ria Koto lectures, they will come, they will deliver lectures and pass the same Supreme Court for delivering the kind of judgment they delivered in 1965, in 1964, in 1963, in the Ria Koto matter. Why was the Ria Koto decision delivered by a district court? Was the Ria Koto decision delivered by a circuit court? Was the Ria Koto decision delivered by a high court? It was delivered by an analogous Supreme Court. But Supreme Court judges today will go and deliver a letter and say that they disagree and ambass and say all sorts of things. But they will not learn. So who says that a Supreme Court, when, when they deliver a decision today, we cannot criticize them. Okay, so the um, court completely the court completely fell into an error of reasoning. And I want this to be a headline tomorrow. The court fell into an error of constitutional reasoning. They failed to read our constitution as a whole to determine that when we speak of the speaker of parliament of the Republic of Ghana, we are not talking of an MPP wearing set Speaker of Parliament. We are not talking of an NDC wearing set Speaker of Parliament. We are talking of an office of Parliament that is supposed to be non-partisan.